head to Sweden. Uh, Ireland and Sweden have a close cooperation and excellent bilateral relationship. We often work closer together, and that goes for the, the work within the European Union, but also uh, otherwise we, we do share views, we share values. Today, uh, goes without saying, uh, I guess our focus has been on, on Brexit. We have had a good discussion on this huge challenge, uh, not least in the light of the proposal that was presented yesterday by the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson. Now, in the long perspective, we, of course, share a, a common interest of a good and deep relationship between the European Union and the UK, as well as bilaterally. And in the short term, we need an orderly Brexit. And this means that we, we must find a solution that can balance, uh, on the one hand, protecting the single market, on the other hand, being very firm on avoiding a hard border between uh, the Irish Republic and Northern Ireland. On that matter, Sweden stands uh, in solidarity with, with Ireland. We all remember the violence during the Troubles very clearly, and the Good Friday Agreement must not uh, be put at risk. Uh, of course, there are other issues as well. Uh, besides Brexit, we are entering a new mandate for the European uh, institutions, and soon we will have a new commission in place under the president-elect Ursula von der Leyen. And it's in, in all our interest to have a strong and united European Union in order to address all the common challenges that we see ahead of us. We need to tackle the climate change, of course, uh, make the internal market work fully in order to create uh, more and better jobs. We need to stand up for common values and combat uh, organized crime and terrorism, and at least um, take a common responsibility when it comes to migration. So uh, I would like to thank Tishok um, Varadkar for his meeting here, and I look forward to continuing our cooperation both within the EU and bilaterally between our two countries. Please. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Stefan. I want to um, uh, thank the Prime Minister for uh, welcoming me here to Stockholm today, uh, and also to congratulate you on your on your re-election as Prime Minister, um, and look forward to working with you in the years ahead. Um, Bilateral relations between Ireland and Sweden are really excellent, uh, both at a bilateral level and in terms of our cooperation at European level as well. Uh, we use this meeting as an opportunity to discuss, uh, first of all, Brexit, uh, discuss the current state of play. Uh, of course, both countries uh, are very keen to see uh, a deal that allows the UK to uh, leave the European Union in, in an orderly fashion, um, but not in such a way that undermines the integrity of the single market um, or uh, causes a hard border uh, on the island of Ireland. Um, the proposals that have been put forward uh, by the UK um, are certainly welcome in the sense that we now have written proposals uh, that we can engage on, uh, but they do fall short in a number of aspects. Uh, certainly our view is that any consent mechanism that were to exist uh, would have to be uh, reflective of the, of the views of the uh, whole of the population of Northern Ireland and not give uh, any one party um, of any uh, denomination uh, a veto. Uh, and also uh, we need to explore in much more detail the uh, customs proposals being put forward um, as uh, it's very much the view uh, of the Irish government and people of Ireland North and South that there shouldn't be uh, customs checkpoints uh, or tariffs uh, on trade between uh, North and South. Uh, we also had a good discussion on climate action, which, as you know, is increasingly a priority for the Irish government. And I think Sweden has done a lot that we can learn from. Uh, and many of the governance structures that uh, Sweden has put in place, uh, particularly around uh, a statutory climate uh, advisory and action council and um, sectoral and regional plans, uh, are very much envisaged in our climate action plan as well. Uh, so we agreed that our Two ministries and two governments would engage on that and we would seek advice from Sweden as to how to follow them down uh, the very successful path that they're on in relation to climate action and was uh, um, very reassured to hear that Sweden has reached the point where 70% uh, of their electricity uh, is from renewables, about 30% from nuclear, and our aim is to get to 70% by 2030, and clearly it's doable uh, because Sweden has, has done it, uh, and we'll do some more policy and experience exchanges on that uh, in, in the period ahead. Uh, we also touched on the MFF. As um, the Prime Minister said, a new European Commission takes up office on the 1st of November, 
and top of the agenda are going to be issues like migration, like secur security, uh, but also the new five-year budget for the European Union. Uh, the MFF and both Ireland and Sweden are net contributors to the budget and both countries um, because of our uh, strong economies uh, face very considerable increases uh, in our contribution to the EU budget over the next couple of years so we want to make sure that that uh, money is spent well uh, and is spent uh, in the right way and we also touched on a few issues around bilateral trade between the two countries uh, which as you know is growing all the time uh, so thanks again for having me and my team here and uh, really appreciate your welcome Thank you.